Today on Destroyer 1320, let's check out that radio recall. Do I have to go to the dealer? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, just wanted to cover a topic that's been all over all of the Facebook Challenger pages, which is the radio recall for the 2019 Dodge Challenger 1320 Scat Pack. Um, the, the recall is for the reverse camera staying on a little too long. Uh, when you back up and put it in drive, the uh, picture is still there. So people are trying to shut it off and it's causing accidents or something like that. So here's what seems to be the issue. Boy, it's hot. What is it? 106. It's hot out. Here's what the issue is. So I put it in reverse, back up, and if I put it in drive and start going forward, it doesn't shut off, doesn't shut off, doesn't shut off, doesn't shut off. Now I've stopped because I'm just in my driveway. Now it went. So it stayed on quite a bit afterwards. I understand why that could be an issue for me. Don't really care. Uh, I do not like the screen going black on my radio, which is another thing that I'm hearing it may or may not fix. I think the verdict's still out on that. Uh, I'm still looking for a little more information from everyone who's had it done. Now, I did see something that said I could possibly have this done remotely. So I'm going to look into that and we're gonna see if we can do that live with me. Stay tuned. So as I was saying, I was reading through our little uh, FCA safety recall here for the radio software, and I noticed right down, let's see, right here, vehicle radio can be reprogrammed remotely using firmware over the air, FOTA technology, which will become available in May or sooner. When prompted on the radio display, select update now to update software at your convenience. By opting to do it remotely, you don't have to go see the dealership. So I'm gonna see how I get that to pop up or if it's just something that they send to your vehicle and make it pop up. So stay tuned. Okay, so after looking around a little bit, I realized you go to driveuconnect.com and then we are going to go over to, sorry for the glare, a little sunny, go over to support. We're gonna to go to software update gonna put in our VIN number. VIN number. So this is for my Challenger right here. Let me go ahead and check for updates. Your vehicle is up to date. Okay, so that means that the recall is not available for download and I'm going to wait it out to see if FCA actually gives it to Uconnect for us to update in our 1320 challengers. But all you'll do then is put it onto a USB flash drive, follow the instructions once you plug it into your vehicle, and it will update your system. Uh, I know they've done this in the past. I'm waiting for them to come out with this uh, new update for us with the 1320s and the backup camera issue, because I really don't want to take this darn thing to the dealership that's uh, the bane of my existence. I usually, I have bad dealerships around me. I know some people have good ones, not in my case. So if that's something you're looking to do, it's not available right now. I'm gonna keep looking at it. Once it does pop up, I will let everybody in all my groups know that that update is available. If you like these videos, please support me by hitting the subscribe button. Uh, I also do have some cooking stuff that I do on here once in a while as well. Hope you guys enjoy grilling and vehicles like I do, but I appreciate your support. We'll see you next time, thanks.